Welcome, in front of me I have Amazfit Balance 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with an iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the lower button until you feel the watch vibrate or until you see the Amazfit logo on the screen. Okay, I felt my watch vibrate, so I'm gonna release the button, and after a second or two, there should be a Macefit logo popping up on the screen, like this. And now let's wait until the watch is done booting up. And after the watch boots up, you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down, find the language you would like to use, and then tap on it to select it. Then tap on the check mark and you will see the QR code. That means the watch is ready to pair. And to pair it, we need to download and install the Zep application on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store, of course. Uh, let's open the App Store. In the App Store, you will need to tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar and type in Zep with two Ps at the end. Like this. And then tap on search. And here, you should see this application on the list, Zep with this icon. You need to tap on the Get button to download and install it. And now let's wait until the application is done installing. It will take a while for me probably, so I'm gonna come back to you once it's done. Okay, and once the application is done installing, you will see the Open button right here and you can tap on it to open the app. Once the application opens, you will need to log in into Amazfit account. If you don't have an account, you can create one by tapping on sign up and then use it to log in. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on login, enter the email address and password. And then tap on login to go further. If you see some pop-ups about the permissions for the notifications, you can allow them or deny, deny them. They're not required. But um, if you want the notifications to work, so basically receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you will need to allow them. Then we have the location permission. This is also not required, but if you want to use some features like local weather and stuff like that, you will need to allow the permission. And this one, this one is required if you want to pair the watch with your phone. So make sure this one is allowed. And then, you will see the home page. Now we can tap on device, watch, agree, allow the required permission, and your iPhone will open the camera up. And what you need to do is to point the iPhone's camera uh, on your watch so you can basically scan the QR code, like this. And once you scan the QR code, it will start pairing the devices together. If you see this pop-up, tap on pair, Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. Tap on the check mark on the watch. If you see this page, tap on next. Here we have the permission to add contacts to the list and basically later on you can use your watch to start calls with those contacts. And if you want to use it, you can tap on enable. If you don't care, you can keep it disabled by tapping on skip. And if you tap on enable, tap on continue and basically you can select the contacts to add. You can tap on select contact and then tap on continue and allow the select co selected contact and it will be in the basically phone book or something like that on your watch. Here we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications about the events from your calendar on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip it. If you want to use it, tap on enable and allow the full access. Here you can select the prefer, uh, prefer the um, position of the buttons. Basically, you have buttons on the left and buttons on the right. If you select left, it will basically flip the screen. And if you select right, it will be the default position. Then select the one you like, tap next done done and now you should see the device page and on it you should see your balance too and the watch should be ready to use and that's how you pair this watch with the iphone 
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.